Y'all must have puppy fever because we have been getting so many questions around Feeding Bones & Co to puppies and I am going to answer all of them in this video. So let's go ahead and just jump into it right now. I'm gonna cut to the chase. Yes, Bones & Co can be fed to puppies. It is formulated for all life stages and complete and balanced as is. But I know that you're gonna now ask, okay, that's great, I'm all in, but when can I start feeding Bones & Co to my puppy? What flavor is the most appropriate for my puppy and how do I feed it to my puppy? So those are the things I'm gonna dig into. So let's talk about when you could feed Bones & Co to your new puppy. Short answer for most of you is you can start feeding Bones & Co today to your puppy. As long as they're weaned from their mom, they can start eating Bones & Co food. Like I said, it's complete and balanced and formulated for all life stages. But now you're gonna ask me, well, how much do I feed them? And I have some tips on how to feed them that I'm gonna talk about at the end of the video. But let's start with how much to feed. Feeding Bones & Co to puppies is so easy and you're gonna feel great about it because with our low carb recipe with high and healthy fats you're not going to worry about having added ingredients in there that your puppy doesn't need and as for feeding amount the general guideline is to start out by feeding your puppy about five to ten percent of their body weight and then once they become an adult then you can adjust down to feeding them about two to two and a half percent of their ideal body weight now let me show you how you can do that so today what I have in the fridge is our duck flavor and I have one of our six pound bags now if you have a small puppy I probably would recommend for you to get one of our three pound bags. You can see how much smaller the three pound bags are. These come in little one and a half ounce medallions, about yay size, whereas our six pound bags, our larger bags come in eight ounce patty. Step one is to weigh your puppy. You can use your human scale at home to weigh them. Then what you do is you calculate five to 10% of their current body weight. And let me show you how to do that. All right, let's use my friend here, the calculator. So let's say your puppy weighed in at 10 pounds, 10 times, let's start at 5% of body weight, 5%. So that gives you a half a pound of food. So the best way to do that is use your food scale and you can measure it out. I find that the easiest way to do this is take your food scale, put your dog's bowl on top of it, turn the scale on. This way it's gonna be teared out at zero. I'm gonna change this to pounds and pull in the food. And you can see this came in at just under eight ounces, which eight ounces is a half a pound. And if that seemed easier, then good news, because I actually have an even easier step. As you can see on our six pound bags, for example, each patty is about eight ounces. So technically, I didn't even really need to weigh this. I just knew that eight ounces is a half a pound. A puppy needs a half a pound, so I'll give them a patty a day. And I do recommend to break up their meal time over three to four feedings throughout the day. So you could just break this up into three to four servings and give it to them at breakfast, lunch, dinner, and then maybe a snack. And that's how easy it is to feed your puppy. And you'll want to weigh your puppy every one to two weeks just so you can get an idea of how much they're growing so you can keep up with feeding them more as they get bigger. Oh guys, and one of the best things about feeding Bones & Co raw to a puppy is that no doubt you're having puppy teething issues and maybe some biting issues. Well, one thing that can really help with that is to take a Kong or Kong type toy and because you've allowed the food to defrost a little bit before feeding it, what you can do is stuff said Kong, I have the patty down here, with the food. Uh, you could fit on average about two of our patties in a large Kong and you could put one portion of their meal in here, stuff it in, put it in the freezer for about one to two hours, and then at mealtime, let your puppy work on it. It's gonna help tire them out mentally, it's gonna give them something to do, and it's gonna help with their teething and their gum issues because it's gonna be nice and cold. Now let's talk about all the different protein flavors that we have and which one is most appropriate for your puppy. While every dog and every puppy is different, we have seen incredible success from pet parents that have fed a variety of our proteins to their puppy. So what most people will do is choose one protein and feed it for an entire month and then switch out the next month. Because we have five different proteins, chicken, beef, lamb, turkey, and duck, and all of them are sourced responsibly, only from small family farms right here in the US, cage-free, grass-fed, grass-finished, no antibiotics or added hormones, and all of them are micro-batched in 250-pound batches, pet parents really love switching up between the flavors to give their puppy a variety. And speaking of variety, because as you guys know, we also handcraft raw, meaty bones, marrow bones, bone broth, our bark boost, which is like our green smoothie, and raw goat milk. If we had to recommend one of our supplements to feed your puppy, especially as they're transitioning to from whatever they were eating to our food, I highly, highly, highly recommend for you to give our raw goat milk a chance. This is direct from 
farmer. So what that means is a lot of people will comment that our goat milk seems velvety and creamy and just seems super fresh compared to what they've fed in the past. And the reason is, is we don't use a middleman to pack this. The same farmer that humanely and responsibly raises the goats that give this milk is the same farmer that fills these containers and then we give it to the independent pet stores who then store it in their freezer because we don't use any preservatives and we don't alter or change the goat milk at all. It's in its natural state. The only preservative to keep it good is a freezer. Now you may be asking, Rachel, why is Bones & Co goat milk so good for my puppy or really any dog and even my cat? And the reason is, is it's naturally packed with probiotics, which is excellent for tummy health. In addition to that, it has digestive enzymes. It also is packed with, and this may surprise you, electrolytes. So a lot of people would not associate drinking goat milk or giving their dog raw goat milk after a long run, but this is actually one of the most amazing things that you can give after a run to help nourish and hydrate your dog after they get really hot. It is so cute to watch a dog, especially a puppy, lap up our goat milk. If you have a picture or a video of your puppy drinking our goat milk, please upload it to Facebook or Instagram and tag us at The Bones & Co. We would love to reshare it. Sometimes I'll DM you a coupon just because I'm that thankful for your support. Also, if you wanna know a little bit more why, like why keto food, especially for puppies or even adult dogs, like what is the value of our low carb formula, click the video right here and let's just meet over there and we'll go into depth on keto for dogs. Thank you guys so much and I hope you have a great day. Don't forget to click that subscribe button. Bye. Mm -hmm.